Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the dating game. Let's meet our lucky bachelor's bachelor. Hello, my name is uh, Victor <clears throat> Frankenstein. I am a scientist and I'm looking for a woman who is um, intelligent and just so happens to be drop dead gorgeous. Alright, let's hear from bachelor number two. My name is Dr. Jekyll and I'm here to find myself a beautiful young maiden who will have the uh, stamina to put up with uh, both of myself. Alright, last but not least, Bachelor number three. I'm Charles Marlow. I would like to find someone to accompany on my future travels. She must love to be on the water. Alright, let's meet our lucky Bachelorette. Hi, my name's Natalie, and I'm here today to try to find that special man for my life. Alright, Bachelorette, whenever you're ready. Okay, I will start out with uh, Bachelor number one. How do you have fun, or what would you say that you like to do for fun? <laughs> uh, well, I'm a, I am a man of science, so... um. Experiments and mathematics excite me most of the time, but when I'm not doing that, I tend to um, take long walks and strolls through the night air, through very quiet places such as maybe the town park or, um, or uh, graveyards. Or uh, I mean, it's it really differs. It depends on what you want to do. Okay, thank you, Bachelor Number One. Moving on, uh, Bachelor Number Two. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> well, there is a certain problem that I possess. Um, you could say that I am constantly changing myself. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> no, truly, it is a problem I, I currently possess and... Um, has gotten me into dire straits before with dire consequences concerning myself uh, with uh, certain young ladies. They have been repelled by my, uh, well, the extremes of my personality. Okay. Bachelor number mm -hmm. three, where would you take me on our first date? Well, we would go out to, to my steamboat and uh, we would uh, take a journey down the rivers. We wouldn't set a destination. We would get to it. We would know when we got there. Okay, thank you for answering that question. Um, bachelor number one, I have a, another question for you. Um, have you ever been, like, in jail or anything? <laughs> well, um, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I, I've been to jail one time. And it was, uh, it was over some huge misunderstanding with a friend of mine, you know. Uh, he got into some trouble and had to take the fall for it because he would not he would not act very well in prison. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, next question for you, Bachelor number two. If a kid comes up to you and kicks you in the shin, how would you react? <laughs> well, I have to say I'd probably uh, kick with my cane a few times in there. Get him on the ground really good and then just, just kick him a few more times and make sure that he's real nice and bruised up. He won't be hurting doing that anymore anytime soon. No, I actually, uh, just a joke, of course. I, I'll i probably just let it go, you know. It's, it's no big deal. No. Thank you. Very interesting. Moving on, Bachelor number three. Uh, how do you spend your free time? Now I spend my free time um, with my shipmates. I share my stories, specifically the ones where we went to the Congo and I had to look for a man. Cut. Okay, thank you, Bachelor number three. All right, Bachelorette, it is time to choose. Who do you pick? Thank you, Bachelors, for being here today. Um, some of your answers were good. Some of them were interesting. It just makes it such a hard choice for me to, to make. Oh, I don't know who to choose. 
Alright, it seems like our Bachelorette has a difficult choice ahead. Who do you choose? Bachelor 1, Bachelor 2, on Bachelor number 3. Make your decision now. Who's it going to be? Time is running out. 